this is still the same day as the other canal clean out and this is the king kaboom I'll show you how i used concrete anchors on this one it's pretty much tamper proof and it hasn't pulled out even when the big log hit it this is the king kaboom at work I'm trying to bring bobby out talking to the city council about upgrading this bridge it gets kind of dangerous but the only problem I have with the King Kaboom is the black UV panels were a little thinner and they're not wanting to stay in. I got an idea where I'm going to use like this rubber bed liner mat you can buy for 500 and I think for a thousand pesos I can cut enough thick panels to replace those. The kids love playing down here. I'm afraid one of them is going to fall through the cracks here and this bridge is very wobbly. All the supports are broken. It's missing boards. Maintenance isn't a strong feature here, so anyway, we'll go over and take a look at the garbage while we're waiting for Bobby to come. I got to get him his two weeks pay now. He just upped him to 250 a Sunday. Each Sunday he makes 250 pesos for about an hour and a half work or so. But sometimes he takes it out even during the week. Yeah, it's kind of a treacherous bridge. This was a fabric boom before when I came here first one was fabric and it did really good until I put the longer skirt on and a lot of wind through here it turned into a kite but yeah you can see what we're up against here you see that big sack can you believe what people there's what one two three three big sacks of trash and it's mind-boggling to think that how many decades has this all been going out into the ocean and nobody's done anything about it some of the stuff I don't know this has got a full-length skirt that bottle came from some other island probably i need to get one on that canal over there that's the one on the shop floor right now the mombahau river next to the airport but darn if i can get access to the airport and now the flights are starting it's going to be even harder so so we'll get bobby here to help clean this up i don't need a basket net for him he's a brave soul just like in manila he'll take his shoes off and crawl right down in there throw all the recyclables and trash bags up and then he throws all the natural debris over so the fish got some place to hide. Then my lieutenant Jerry's finishing up on the coke kaboom where we were at. And he's walking down to the lady kaboom which is full and needs service too. So you can see where I'm at. When I just had this one, it wasn't bad. I made a morning out of it. I'd go for my bike ride. I'd go up to Jollibee and grab my little burger steak breakfast. Come down to the park here and sit out on the waterfront and enjoy my breakfast. And then I'd come over and clean up the one boom that I had downtown, and it wasn't too bad. But now I got three of these. It's getting to be really impossible to keep up with it all. But yeah, we got to teach the kids, because even them, they throw stuff in here right when I'm here. But they're the ones that want to help the most. The children, we did a cleanup on the other side over here. It's called Tampon Village. Tapon, not Tampon. Tapon, I think. And it's one of the lower income villages over there and we had an echo warrior cleanup where i took the first group over and we did a major sweep over there at the end of this river where all the trash comes from the mod and then again when i had the two pad workers we went over there and finally finished it up and it was super clean i checked on it like oh a week ago they actually put a little volleyball court in the middle where we cleaned up so anyhow i don't think i can make this one 10 minutes i got some other work to do so i'll be back soon and maybe get some footage on the Lady Kaboom clean out and then I'll post the three videos later. It may take three days to load at my super slow internet speed, but as you can see, this is a pretty nice park. Now they keep it up pretty good. A little trash here, I'll have Bobby throw that in with the bags too. But that's the park people, they just throw all the natural debris there and burn it. This is a beautiful island. Especially now that the beaches are clean. Check it out. You can walk across here and it's near spotless. We got kabooms all the way down here. So the only one that comes in right now is right there. And unless it's a heavy rain, nothing comes out of there. It's pretty much dry bed. That's why it's a different style of kaboom. It's going to have a longer skirt. I might even put a sea anchor on the back side to keep it stable. I don't know yet, but yeah, this is the landmark now, the king kaboom. The airport's just right over there. So I'm trying to think of what type of UV protector panels I can put on top of this that would be visible, even more visible from the plane. I'm sure you can see it from the plane when you come in. So, so yeah, 
This is the not so clean and green cam again that the government really doesn't want you to see. But somebody's got to take care of it. And with my YouTube friends now, I think I can hire the help to get this done. Thank you so much.